Hello, uh, today I'm gonna do a review of Filamentum CPE HD100. It's an engineering grade filament as a PETI based filament with some added materials for improved quality. But let's have a look after the intro. So this filament was bought by me, I, I purchased this on their website and it's not a sponsored video in, in any way, it's just my own opinion on this video, on, on this material. Uh, this filament is from Filamentum called CPE HD 100 Extra Fill and the color is Morning Sun Transparent and it comes in a clear spool with, a, with filament on and it's like 850 gram spool like most of the filamentum filaments but uh, this is they say on the website it has patchy as a base material but then they add some additional materials in it to to make it better and, and they have a data sheet on their website showing what properties it has like strength and durability and, and such to compare to normal patchy and it's quite a technical document but overall this uh, the short line is it's better than patchy in every way <laughs> but uh, let's have a look at the prints i did and, and see how, how it performed in my testing so let's get started with the close-ups of, of some prints. So as with small, many materials, I try out the string performance and to tune in the temperature and retractions and as such. And so I was printing with a profile provided in Slick 3 r Prusa edition and there the default temperature is 275 on the hot end and 90 degrees on the bed. So it's a little bit hotter than normal patchy filament that you would print maybe at 240. But that's probably because of the additive materials in it. It needs a little bit more heat. But here on, in the stringing test, I had a little bit of stringing, and that's really expected of a, of a filament type, of a patchy filament type. So, but uh, otherwise, it came out pretty good, and it's quite tough. And it's difficult to, to break the strands, they are quite, quite strong. It takes a lot of force to, to break them. And then I did some uh, bridging test and this came out excellent. There was just a tiny string here, <laughs> but otherwise all the spans were really clean and, and no issues. So bridging performance with this filament was excellent. And I was quite happy to see that because with a, with a patchy sometimes bridging can be difficult, but this is performing better, I would say, than, than my normal patchy experience. Um, here I did the overhang test as well, and this one came absolutely perfect. There was like no drooping here in the steepest part at uh, 70 degrees. Uh, the, it's really smooth and uh, no no issues. And here in the end, you, you know, normally see it like droops down uh, if it's uh, like a, not holding up so well. But this is really clean end and, and no surface issues on the bottom side. So bridging performance is excellent for this. And then printed out a, a Benchy, and here I got a small like burnt filament blob on the on the filament. But other than that, the Benchy came out really nice. It has no string in the in the windows, and, and bridging here in the window as well, really good, and very smooth surface quality and, and consistent. So this Benchy was looking really nice, and because this filament is somewhat transparent, you can see the infill pattern <laughs> through, and it gives it gives it a nice, <laughs> nice look, or at least a little bit of difference than normal. And you can play around with the infill type to get different effects. But this came out otherwise excellent. This was just an only only like burnt filament blob that came here. But other than that, this one was really nice. I then printed out Mr. Belly and that one came out excellent and you can see the infill <laughs> in it. It's quite funny to see sometimes as it goes through but this came out really clean and, and absolutely no issues and the, the, it's looking really nice. I then did the artist model by Gareth and this came out excellent. It's really shiny and like gold like look as you can see it's really shiny. Um, there was absolutely no issues and almost no stringing, uh, maybe two or three strings visible here, but nothing to worry about. So the 
Brilliant. Surface quality here is excellent and, and it looks really nice. Um, it's like a like a gold, light gold color, or, or the mor morning sun as it's called. <laughs> Uh, I also did the Omnum model by Tessa, and this one came out excellent as well. So it is really shiny and, and just really good looking and absolutely no issues. I then did a few mechanical parts. Um, here's one, this is like a, a headphone holder that I put on my oven. And it's just a mechanical part and it's really sturdy and, and you can f feel a, a tiny amount of flex in it, uh, like you feel with patchy filament, but it's quite sturdy. Um, here are some casings that I was doing at the time and this one came out excellent and it's really strong and, and very accurate and very good print. Also here's a, like a cover of a button. This one came out excellent and, and it's very accurate uh, print and also this one this is a, a holder for my camera that I have here in front of me. <laughs> uh, it goes on the monitor stand and this is just a mechanical part as well. Um, I can bend this, it has a little bit of, of give but it's really tough and, and very stable uh, print. I then did sear layers a lot and um, as you can see this one came out excellent. It's really nice looking and you can see the shine, it's like a light gold uh, uh, shine on it. Um, just coming out excellent, uh, no issues, maybe two or three strings here you can see, but nothing nothing serious, um, really smooth, like here on the shield, it's, it's, you can see in the shine, it's really, really nice, so for, for prints like this, you can make awesome looking prints, even though this is be a more functional material, it can create awesome looking prints. I then did, did a vase print, and this is a normal vase print, uh, it's a model I created, and this came out excellent, you can see how shiny it is, and, and it flexes quite good and, and looks really nice. I also did a, a, a bigger one, uh, that one came out excellent, and uh, when I was squeezing it, I, it broke up a little bit here, <laughs> it, it's a really thin, thin print. Um, then I did another vase with a, with a thicker extrusion width. So the, here the extrusion width is one millimeter and now this is pretty rigid and, and really strong. So with a vase, it's a vase mode print but with a thicker uh, extrusion width. So it's, it was coming out excellent and I was following along the old tellings video. He was doing a vase print with a thicker extrusion width. Um, he decided to try it out in Slicer Push Edition and, and found the settings to do it and, and this came out excellent. So this was, uh, uh, can be quite strong even though it's in, in waste mode, it's really, really tough. Those were the prints I did with this filament. It, overall it was really easy to print. I used the included profile in the Prusa Edition Slicer, uh, printing at 275 degrees and 90 degrees on the bed. And the part cooling was set at 50% for, for the print and the print quality was excellent and, and really good performance in overhangs and, and, and bridging was really nice, and especially the overhangs, it was just awesome performance with the overhang test. And the look of this filament, like gold morning like morning sun uh, color name is pretty accurate, it's really nice color and you can get awesome looking prints as, as well as very good functional prints that stand up and, and are really tough and strong and, and you can see like the technical data sheet on, on their website but I'm not going to read through all the technical properties but overall compared to Patty it has better performance in, in in all aspects, they say, and I was quite happy to see that I was not disappointed by that claim. The performance is excellent and, and it's really nice filament. But this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and this is 3D Painting Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.